Hey everyone, this is Ben Beck with you in the Midwest Model Shop. So uh, a couple things we're going to take care of in this episode. First of all, we're going to be moving on up to A deck and starting to work on the big parts that go up there. Uh, so that's what this episode is primarily about and getting the deck prepped and a couple of little miscellaneous pieces here and there. Um, thank you to everyone who's gone to our website, themidwestmodelshop.com, and purchased a t-shirt. The Harlan Wolf ones have been a huge hit. Uh, we do now offer coffee cups, coffee mugs, sorry, uh, just a couple designs in there. Quick note on those, because the one guy who ordered didn't pay attention to the instructions. Because of the way Squarespace works, um, I can't break down shipping for individual items. So what we've done is put a flat rate price in for the coffee mugs, and that takes care of shipping in the continental United States. If you really want one outside of the United States, uh, send me a message and we'll work something out. Unfortunately, uh, shipping prices have gone up about 33% from this same time last year. Uh, it's just the world that we live in right now. So anyway, uh, when you go, if you buy a mug with a checkout, make sure you select the mug shipping price, which is $0. That's what you should be paying. Um, also, uh, in this episode, uh, we're going to be like this part that goes on the superstructure, and you've got a gazillion windows on here. Um, I didn't feel like cutting them all out and spending time doing that, so Nora whipped them up on her Cricut uh, for me. I've got them in big chunks there. If anyone's interested in buying a set of glasses just for the top, it's, it's, it's cheap. It's just going to be the, made out of the transparency. See how you can't see through this? Cut out and ready to go. Uh, let me know. Put it a comment down below uh, once we get the sizes finalized. If there's interest, I'll, we'll put them in an envelope. I think it, we'll, I'm planning on charging like $5. In lower 48 states, 5 bucks. I'll put it in an envelope, mail it to you, and you can, you can monkey with those if you want. If there's interest in that, please let me know. Uh, there was one other thing. Oh, that was it. So in this episode, you'll also see that I start working on uh, putting just some little miscellaneous furniture in, just like I've shown in previous episodes. I get all that stuff from Amateur 3D Printing uh, up here. He's not too far away from me, Izzy, and he sells that stuff on his Facebook page. We've talked about it, and uh, if you're interested, I can also offer those items for sale. I was thinking about um, buying just some basic furniture sets, the stuff like for the Parisian Cafe and the private promenades. Uh, and offering those up for sale on my website as well. You just be one one click shop, one stop shop type thing. Go in and see the item, click add to cart, buy it, and we'll put it in the mail and send it to you. Uh, I want to see if there's any interest in that um, versus going directly through those guys to get this stuff. If there is, we'll just we'll be a retail marketer is what we've worked out. We'll just pre-purchase the stuff from them. There'll be a, a slight markup for our time and the materials and stuff, and then. We'd sell it to you guys that way. So uh, comment down below if you're interested in that. Those are things that um, are kind of like on the horizon that we're working on. So anyway, that's it. We're going to work on the aft end of ADEC and get all those details rocking and rolling here. And this is all on. I should have said this on our client's build. All right. Thanks for watching. Let's get into the build. Okay, back in action here. So from after last episode i went ahead and added a few more details to the ford well deck primarily the uh, two stands for the cranes and then if you see in the corners back there there's little photo etch details uh, that got added in that turned out really nice so now what i want to do is start working on the a deck details up here so what we've done just did our courtesy little paint job on the staircase. Uh, I don't think you'll see any of that one. You might see some of this one, so I threw down some flooring. The, the next big item is getting these structures painted up and installed. So as you can see, I went ahead and cut out all of the deck uh, so that the plastic sits on the plastic deck of the ship. Otherwise, you have problems with things fitting that the way that they need to. Also up here on the bow, we had discussed last time that these staircases didn't come all the way up like we wanted to. Turns out, as you can see right here, that there's a huge structure that goes around it and you're not going to see in there at all. Uh, well, you're not going to see the top of the staircase. You might see that wooden deck, so that's why I left some there on both sides respectively. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab all of the structures for A deck and start painting them up and getting that all situated. 
Okay, uh, before we get too crazy, I threw on a plate back here that's primed with metal primer. Uh, I got painted gray. And then in addition to all the other stuff we've done, um, we've got the uh, expansion joint plates thrown in. They're supposed to be brass, which is great because they actually are brass, so that takes care of that. Okay, down here uh, for A deck, this is the aft section. Um, so I've prepped a bunch of things here. Just want to talk about, uh, let's see if we zoom in. So I've scraped off the doors on both sides. Over here, there's supposed to be two uh, ridges that hold up the next wall like this that attaches like this. Well, the, they had two, and one was right here, and I, I scraped it off because otherwise it would look like this. And I don't know why you need that there. So I got rid of the one that's outboard. So that this piece will just drop into place like that. We'll have a nice seam. So that's prepped up. Uh, we've got this. This is a double sliding door back here. I've scraped all of that off. Um, I got to weigh what will be seen and not seen. So um, these windows have uh, stained glass that go in them, which is great. These windows go right into a couple of little rooms where you won't see anything. So we'll, we'll end up blacking those out. Uh, but there is a, oh man, what's that called here? It's a little Parisian area right here, a little promenade. There were some sofas and tables set up right behind these windows and they're glass of the kit. So uh, we're going to black out the sliding doors because they'll be dark in there. This There's nothing to see back here. But you might make out those tables so we'll put a sofa i'm going to try and dig up a sofa and a couple tables to set there and maybe we'll get the correct um uh floor tile so otherwise this thing's set to go so it's time to just get it primed up with white primer and uh, prepare all of our windows uh, these windows back here have white frames this has a white frame these up here end up brown the door ends up white uh, this is brown all of these windows end up brown. Oh, and this this happy chunk. See this thing missing right here? That, I believe, is wiring, uh, a path for wiring that is in Trumpeter's design. Uh, we're not doing that crap. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece of uh, styrene to fill that in so that it's nice and flush right there, and then we'll be able to go. So, yeah, let's get some stuff painted up, get some windows going, and uh, we'll get back to you. Press it on. Okay, so back in action, we've got some work done here. This is the uh, aft part of a deck. Um, I went ahead and got the glass installed and our little picture frames and our doors, and it looks nice, pretty much. Uh, so a couple things missing on the back. Right here, we've got two little ladders that we need to install, and then all along here go railings. I haven't installed them yet because this thing has a slight bow to it, curving, you know, this is up and that's down, uh, so you can push down on it. And the ship curves the other direction. So yeah, that's something we gotta look at. So in the back here, in the um, veranda and palm court area, which you'll be able to see inside. I put in, there you go, some little backing sheets of what you might make out through there. Um, and then let's take a look at the deck itself real quick. I went ahead and you can see here installed just the generic, I, I think this should be a little darker, but my printer did it gray, flooring just in case you see that. And uh, we got to put a couple pieces of furniture in here just in case you'd be able to see inside and then this will drop in like so and we'll have to glue it into position like this and then it will look very nice. Uh, but I got to put that railing on and so I'm a little concerned and I'm trying to figure out if I should glue it on now which would be easier because I can handle this whole piece but I don't want it to pop off when I push down I think you can see in the video here, I gotta push down the middle. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna glue this in a position now and then put the railing on, I'm not sure. Uh, also, 
up here in our staircase area this spot right here this is like a private bath and then some entry like someone's got their room right here and then this window you can see through to the grand staircase so I need to put something behind these two glasses but this one I need to leave open because uh, you can see through there presently uh, into this space and that's 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 kind of a cool look but I do have to put something behind the walls here and so I think what I'll do is just put a false wall in here about a half inch back with some stock I'll probably just do it white just so that if you see anything in there you could tell that there's some depth uh, and then if this you will be able to see straight through um, if if somehow you'll be able to see through there because there's gonna be a deck on top of this and everything so that's where we're at uh, let's get let's get some of those parts put together and we'll get um, we'll get a couple pieces of furniture thrown in here and uh, we'll press on and I'll I'll get back to you with what I've decided to do here with the uh, railing what I might do actually is install some railing on, in the middle right here this is the area that's subject to the most flexing do the least amount of work possible and then take it here and see if I push it down and see if it it flexes and pops off on me and if it does then I I'll, I'll know that I can't proceed if it doesn't I'll go ahead and glue it all on and get it painted up and that'll make the installation of that part a lot easier so far I think this is looking pretty good alright pressing on okay so uh, I've got a a couple pieces of furniture here it's painted a really light uh, kind of skin tone tannish color uh, that's because the color of these chairs and the sofa back in here is supposed to be like wicker um, colors and that's you know really light and I don't really have a brown that's exact so we're gonna put these in position uh, like you would see uh, in the books, this is this is the layout. This is where this furniture is supposed to go. So, presumably that is where it ended up. This sofa, I rummaged through and trying to find one that was like decent. It's got a pretty high back on it, but and, and it blocks kind of a lot of the window, I think. Um, but looking at the uh, game Titanic ship magnificent or Honor and Glory, sorry, Titanic Honor and Glory. Um, it, it takes up most of the window in there too. I guess, I guess, you know, our perception without people of how big these things are or are not gets a little skewed, um, until you're really standing there in front of the whole thing. And I think that's true with a lot of models, which is why I try to put people in them if I get a chance. So we're going to go ahead and glue these into position. Okay, like that. All right, uh, let's move on to the next part. All right, so it uh, turns out I was able to go ahead and get the um, handrails installed without actually any trouble at all, and I didn't realize there isn't one in the middle there, so I, I don't have to worry about flexing. So that's good. Uh, I put in some walls right here the one this is supposed to be a bathroom and this is supposed to be just kind of your entry room and through here you could see through to their side in the grand staircase so as you can see underneath i cut away this little section on both sides so that uh you know the light would get through and you'd be able to see through there so and we have our little ladders installed right here in the back no troubles uh, so now really the only thing left to do is install it so this is where it's going to go and it will drop on here like so and it'll go down like that. Um, I'm going to get my glue on it but as you can see I need to weigh it down. I have, uh, my dad bought me a while ago these um, one, two, three blocks and they've got some real heft to them. I think they're steel and as you can see that'll hold it down just fine. So what we need to do is glue it up and get it in place and because this is all heavy duty okay so um, I'm gonna go to my favorite standby which is the good old-fashioned orange glue and just apply it on here and get it installed so uh, I'll go ahead and knock that out 
Okay, so we went ahead and got our little piece uh, glued on here into position. I'm going to try and do a nice pan here so you can get a look at it. There's our railing and the glass and all the window panes and everything. And it looks really nice, I think. I think this turned out uh, pretty good, all considered. So, yeah, that's this, this first part. Let's go ahead and pan around the rest of it. All right, here's the back side, and you know some things are lit up a little bit. You can still see through those windows right there for the time being. When we get that next deck on, we'll see what happens. Okay, and here we are on the port side of the ship, and I think you can see right in there a little bit the backrest to the uh, sofa that's there, and then through that little side window, maybe there's the other wicker chair. Uh, then we got some more of the fancy windows over here. There's a railing which turned out nice. And then this window that you could see all the way through to the other side. And this window, this is somebody's bathroom. And this is like, you know, where you sleep and things like that. So anyway, uh, that's it for now. There's that part. Um, so the next section is going to be, let's zoom all the way out here is this part right and it's one big huge giant piece uh that i think we'll address in the next video because it's 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 going to be more of kind of the same right not not the same but more of kind of the same so anyway uh that's it that's all we've got for now this piece is in i think it looks really good and i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and yeah, we'll, we'll get back to you next time. Thanks for watching.